Hello everyone, this is Roving Rambler and we're going to be doing a video about Arctic Mittens, specifically the US 1970s model of them. So these are really good gloves for the winters guys, they're uh, really big and spacious, they're designed to be basically worn over a winter coat or a parka, you know, very roomy, they're meant to be worn with a liner glove underneath ideally, um, I would recommend a sort of silk or merino glove just like a thin little liner glove, even a fingerless glove or cut-off gloves and uh, just wear that underneath to give you dexterity when you remove this glove um, yeah, so dexterity is probably one of the first things I'll mention there isn't really much with these uh, gloves they're more designed for warmth they have this little trigger finger and that's just about it um, but yeah, they keep your hands nice and warm um, I've also got this wool pile here this is actually designed to go in your face, to warm your face up if your face gets really cold. It's also very good for wiping your nose as well. Of course, it's got a leather palm, plenty of grip there. Uh, very tough. It's old leather, but it's still going strong. I'd recommend uh, you know putting some oil in there to get it going again. And then we've got some canvas here. Very stuff, very um, st sturdy stuff. And inside we have a, a polyester liner which can actually be removed uh, for the ease of drying out. Uh, but these gloves, yeah, I, they've kept me warm in temperatures down to minus 40, including wind chill. Uh, I actually was doing snow shoveling over the winter here in Canada as a job and uh, they were really, really good. Everyone was envious of them. I never had to use hand warmers once. I've, not, I've never actually used them since I arrived in Canada. So yeah, that's really good everyone else i worked with was using heated gloves and hand warmers galore and oh complaining about the cold even some of my friends had frostbite as well but i never had any problems at all and these gloves only cost a mere 50 bucks i got them off of etsy actually uh, but you can buy them on ebay army supper stores they're quite readily available and um, but yeah they look pretty crazy i think they look pretty cool actually myself um, but yeah, they really stick out and everyone, everyone you know is going to be jealous of you wearing these gloves because your hands are going to be really warm. Uh, one thing I'd recommend about these gloves though is to rig up a system where you can attach them to your jacket and um, either using some paracord or some sort of cordage, you know, um, because the thing about them is like when you're wearing them, going for the woods, fishing like I was, uh, you frequently take them on and off if you need to like tie a knot or something tie your shoelaces or you need some more dexterity you're going to be taking these gloves off also if you start to your hands start to warm up you might want to take these off just to you know cool your hands down a little bit and then of course put them back on when your hands start to cool down a bit too much uh, but my problem was when I was fishing one time with these gloves I was carrying them from place to place like Occasionally putting them back on again so I could warm my hands back up and uh, What actually happened was I actually just sat them down and they weren't attached to my jacket or anything like that So I just left them where they were didn't realize this till I came back home and I actually left them up in the hill where I was fishing So yeah, basically I was looking all over the house turning upside down trying to find my mitts and uh, My mitts were just up where I left them and uh, as uh, we got some fresh powder down, the snow piled up and piled up and these mitts were just buried under. I could not find them. I had to wait for months and months like until the spring before I could actually find them. And just a couple of days ago, I went back up there looking for the mitts, hoping to find them. And lo and behold, I found them and they're actually in pretty good nick. They were basically in the same condition I uh, when I lost them up at the hill. And uh, apart from this bit here, this bit of damage, there's nothing really wrong with the mitts. The mitts are in great nick, despite being left out in the cold and being from the 1970s. They're still going strong and they've not let me down yet. If you're in uh, Canada, Russia, sort of colder states of North America, Scandinavia, I would highly recommend these gloves. They're absolutely brilliant and they're very affordable. It saves you spending a fortune on some fur mitts or some brand new fancy ski mitts or whatever, I would just go for these. They're tough, they're cheap, they're reliable, and they're really easy to look after. Just don't leave them around when you're fishing. Uh, but yeah, that's it guys. That's it for this video. 
I'm going to make more videos about the outdoors, camping, fishing, hiking, etc. Some more gear reviews. I'll show you some of the gear I use and just show you some of my adventures around Canada and other parts of the world. But yeah guys, if you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, please let me know in the comments. Give it a like, subscribe if you like. And uh, yeah, until the next time guys, take care.